first. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. It's freaking. We didn't okay, read it. So we had it's the day of the free. It's the holiday of the freaking demons. So you know, I won't be. I won't be celebrating it anytime soon. Let's introduce well, ourselves. I'm Willy Wonka. I'm Pastor Luke. I'm Vague Clown. I'm Sully from uh, Monsters Inc. and Monsters University, but I'm Monsters Inc. version of Sully. I'd like to change nice. my guy to Pope John Paul IV. Okay, I I, I, I accept guy. that. No, that is a real pope. I second that. I will challenge Vague Clown. You Vague Clown? <laughs> is your costume? Challenge to what? Your challenge vague, me to what? Is your costume? <laughs> Wait. I challenge your name. Okay. You you're vague okay. Clown? okay. You, Willy Wonka, you, you can have call you. purple on. You look like Willy Wonka's attorney, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the guy that handles the lawsuits for the parents, for the parents that. of the kids that die. <laughs> There's a lot of laws. My kid, my kid turned into yeah. a blueberry. <laughs> Someone's got to pay. And have you turned into a blueberry? <laughs> Call me. I'm an ambulance chaser for people who entered Willy Wonka's factory. <gasps> okay, wait. So I want to know everybody's favorite spooky movie since we're doing a Halloween. Freaking the Goosebumps. Freaking not the Goosebumps. The, the Goosebumps, Goosebumps the movie. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Television Goose- series. The one with Jack Black. Jackass. Goosebumps: Night of the Living Dummies Part Three. <gasps> That's a good uh, one. I had nightmares about Slappy coming up from behind my dresser. Slappy's a dummy. <laughs> Slappy's Slap- a dummy. Oh, that one was a really that scary episode. That one is really episode. scary. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, had, I remember that He one. was like, the sub, was really like whenever I had a dream and I realized I was dreaming, I was like, oh my God, I hope I don't see Slappy soon. And then I knew that Slappy was going to come out. Yeah. Do you and remember was, the one with the doll where she like took over the girl's life? Because I was I always really, really scared like the of that American one. Girl yes, girl and yeah. it was like a really like it was like it was the same height as her, and then it would start like doing bad things in her name. So mm. the mom was like, "I hate you, daughter. I love this doll now." No, we should watch Goosebumps. We should watch you, Goosebumps. Do you remember the board game one? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A Goosebumps was a board game. One. There, it was like a big board game episode where it was like a life size board game. Oh, it was like a Jumanji shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm like a freaking zombie fanatic, so I like yeah. Twenty Eight Days see? Later. Yeah. 28 weeks later. I like the... My dad used to show me all like the classic ones like Halloween, Friday the 13th on Halloween when I was like probably like five years old. So I, those mm. forever ingrained are so scary, but I've rewatched them since and they're not that scary. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well, I feel like if you ask what my favorite scary movie is, I have to say Scream. I was really scared <laughs> to go downstairs in this costume. <laughs> I'm wearing this costume. There's a movie filming advice. in this building. <laughs> and I'm wearing this onesie. And I was like, Luke just went down wearing his priest costume. He was like, do they say anything to you? Like, <laughs> like you're like an axe murderer. <laughs> like, <laughs> I wanted to be prepared if they were scared, if they were going to rash me. would get scared. I started to come back to my head like clever, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm the monster. <laughs> That's all I thought of. <laughs> That was my. We're we're in good hands for coming up with funny lines for this this podcast. Then, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, I'm not. I'm on one and a half cups of coffee. I don't drink coffee, and I'm. I'm, My my heart's about to come out of my chest. Hyde, what's your favorite scary movie? Yeah. Um, my favorite one of my favorite movies ever is Zombieland. Oh yeah, good. Oh yeah, good pick. Is that even a scary movie? I mean, it's like an action comedy. Scary. I thought it was a comedy movie. It is, but it's has zombies. Can I add a second? Right. Um, Girl vs. Monster, the Disney Channel original movie. Wait, which one is that again? It's the one with Olivia Holt, and she was, like, born without fear, and right. then has to, like, kill the monsters. Wait, but that doesn't seem that no. good, though, because then she's what? not afraid of the villains. <laughs> I'd ask that question, his no. eyebrow shut up, and then he bit She's his lip. not afraid of them. But how does that make it scarier, then, if the main character's just like, yo, I'm gonna go kill these Well, the whole thing scared. is that she's not scared of anything, but then she starts being scared because, like, her parents... We're the ones who were like keeping her away from the fear. Uh, you gotta watch it. I mean, if we're talking Disney Channel movie, Halloween Town. That's Halloween another Town, good one. That's yes, that's the best. Twitches, Twitches Two, Monster House, Monster, Monster House. House. That's Dude, they were Monster playing House. Monsters House in Hamilton at that Hamilton movie theater. Oh, I wasn't even thinking of Monster House, but I do love Monster House. I was thinking of I was <laughs> thinking of the one with Eddie Murphy. Oh, uh, Haunted, Haunted Mansion. Haunted yeah, Man- yeah, Haunted Mansion. They just made a remake of that. Paranorman's also a good one. I saw Paranormal Activity for the first time the other day. I was the only one who didn't want to watch it, but I watched it to the end. I was the only one that watched it to the end, and I liked it. He watched Paranormal Activity. I like fell. I went upstairs, fell asleep, come back downstairs, and he's just standing in the kitchen, like perfectly still, like staring at me, like trying to like scare me. I was trying to like freak him out. I was, I was too to, like <laughs> I was in like a sleep stupor. I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I did it twice. I was like waiting for you to get out of the bathroom. Like, I'm trying to scare you, and I was like. <laughs> 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 That was a little Tommy impression. Yeah, that was a good impression. I like that. That Thank was pretty you. good. That Thanks. was pretty good. Thank you. That was a good impression. I like that. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> was dumb as hell. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Hey, what did we read? Didn't we read today? Are we ready for that? 
Well, this week we didn't read something wicked this way comes. Something wicked like this the, way I, the comes. Cover. Yeah, something wicked this way comes by Ray Bradbury. I'm excited. Let's let's freaking go. Okay, so this book is the story of the eerie and sinister Cougar and Dark's pandemonium shadow show that has come to a small town in Illinois in the middle of the night, ushering in Halloween a week early. Our two main characters are the very best of friends, just like you two. Yeah. yeah. Will Holloway and Jim Nightshade. That's a cool thing. <laughs> and Will is light-haired and good, and he was born on October 30th. And Jim was born just a couple minutes later, making him born on Halloween. Oh, Okay, so they live next door to each other, like their houses, and they can like talk to each other through their window. Oh. Jim lives with his mom right next door to Will, who lives with both of his parents. And one day they're out playing in the front yard, and a lightning rod salesman comes by. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Okay. And he's trying to sell the boys lightning rod. They're 13, so they don't have like cat, like they're not like, you know, in on the cash. And so he's like, I'll give you one for free. And it has all these mysterious writings on it. So we open the story with the two boys deciding, talking to the lightning rod salesman and deciding whose house they're going to put the lightning rod on. Hey, boys. Hey, do you want to play? We're playing right now. I don't want to play. I'm a grown man, but I'm a salesman. Right. And I have all these lightning rods. Can I interest you in one? Boys, who the hell are you talking to <laughs> at, the, at the door? <laughs> uh, 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 he wants, he's showing us his rod. Yeah, he wants to give us his rod. <laughs> Don't talk, okay. to your, don't talk to your mom about my rod. What I want to do is offer you my rod for free to put on your house because there's a big storm a brewing. What? Yeah, it's going to get pretty way, windy. It's probably going to rain and lightning and thunder. And I think you guys might want my rod for this. We're kids. We my rod? My rod don't. is going to keep you safe. We we don't deal with things. We we just kind of like play and stuff. Well, you know what? I'm child. just going to go ahead and give it to you for free. You could give us a light. Yeah. Hey, what do you get out of this? You give it to us for free. Just. <laughs> oh wait, why does it say on the side that's your your Instagram? Well, you know, in case you guys just want to reach out to me. At afterward. Lightning Rod Larry. That's hey, your guys, name. I work, yeah. I work for Cutco. Um, <laughs> why guys, is everyone trying to sell us stuff? <laughs> what is going on? We've you been playing in, football. Uh, you guys in the market for any knives? Hey, hey, no. hey, hey. No, we're not in the what market are you for selling, anything. Eric? Back up. What are you back selling, up, Eric? Back up. I'm trying to sell these freaking lightning rods, and you're like encroaching on my. We face. live in freaking Los Angeles. Excuse what? me, you know, you know <laughs> why do we don't need a lightning rod? The perfect package I've always said is a lightning rod and a freaking Cutco knife. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about that. it, that why is, is that the perfect? perfect? A lot of people say that's a. Perfect you need a little. Item. You need something for in the house and outside the house. First off, I've never heard of a of a lightning rod salesperson. So I'm, person, I'm is that appropriate? That's true. They're not very common. Not as common as a Cutco guy. No Cutco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a dime a dozen, but I'm a freaking original. The guy told Everything me I sell three hundred so I could get my money back and get yeah. my child back. So that, that sounds like back? a scam. Yeah, he took my kid until I sell three hundred knives. That doesn't Wait, sound what? like a. That doesn't sound like you're going to be doing some ethical trading. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good knives, guys. They're also, pretty good knives. We're children. We don't need knives. Yeah, that's why yeah, I'm trying to give them my rod for you free, and you're like all up in my business. Listen, we why are you trying to sell the kids? We have parents. You just go get our parents. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you want to talk to our parents? All right, I'll go in the house, talk to your mom. No, if she's no. hot, and then you stay here and talk to you the kids. You take the parents, I take the kids. Right, I'm going in. Be careful, my dad. Be careful, my dad has guns. Okay. Well, you, have, you have knives. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm bringing a knife to a gunfight. This yeah. guy. Yeah. I think we need to deliberate on this. If we should buy the knives. I'm just gonna leave the rod should here. We? You make a decision. I gotta run. What? Is that cool? Uh, what do you mean we make a decision? What is that? Wait, you're gonna leave the rods? Yeah. It seems like you made the decision before. If you're giving it for free, you're just leaving it on our property. I'm gone. What? Wait. Wait, where are you going? I'll see ya. I'll see you later. I don't even freaking know what to do. Oh, fuck. She just got struck by lightning. Holy oh, crap. Right she oh, and her, her bones lit up like in a cartoon. See her whole skeleton. Oh, my God. Lightning's coming right for us. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we rotted it. Holy crap. Got rotted. Guys, I, I'm the Cutco guy. <laughs> I just want to say. What happened? What happened in the bathroom, if you check, was not me. <laughs> Oh my god, he got electrocuted. <laughs> oh my god. He's coming too. He's coming too. I heard lightning makes you be really honest as well, so he used to tell us the truth. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something right now. I'm so far into this cut coat thing. <laughs> if you don't buy some of these knives, I don't know what tomorrow looks like for me. Oh, what? Wait, Dude, wait, you wait. can't do that. That's not fair. 
I don't know what tomorrow. I have two hundred dollars in my to my name. I've been saving it. Don't say how much money you have. Two hundred dollars is that. the perfect amount of money. No, for a no. Products. I'm trying to buy no. braces. I'm trying to buy braces? Yeah, well, that's like ten thousand. You have to buy your own braces, Jim. I'm trying to buy leg braces. <laughs> trying to buy what? <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. Leg braces? Yeah, walk. <laughs> You can't walk. I've been sitting this whole fucking time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I thought you just loved to play video games with me. No, and always at your house. You ever actually tell me to go long, and then I don't go long. Yeah, I thought you were just a never Lazy mind. Guy? Yeah, I thought you were just a slacker. <laughs> I just wasn't a, a role player. But I don't think that'd be appropriate to call you now, knowing now your what is the conditions of. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's lots of things I apparently I didn't know about you. We well, did, the, the 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 lightning rod guy's getting up. <laughs> God, it all hurts. It burns so bad. All this lightning in my veins. <sighs> oh my god! Oh my god! Are you Yo, okay? Take a knife, dude, just in case. Okay, burn free. We keep getting free shit today. I yeah. just got rules. I feel this this crazy power within me. Okay, it's it's in my loins. All right, and oh, I I feel this weird. urge to tell the truth. And, oh yeah. And the truth is. I'm actually the overseer for Cutco, and I wanted to actually reach out to you guys oh and see gosh. if you would be interested in a lucrative commission-based job. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's just yeah. $25 an hour. That is pretty good. Above minimum Don't wage. do it. <laughs> I need to talk to you because I've only talked to you via email. I did not know who you were. You need to give me my daughter back. Because oh I don't God. know what tomorrow looks like for me. You are like about this close <laughs> to getting your daughter back. You are so <laughs> close. I'm that Honestly, close? I think you're one of our best salespeople, and, and it would just be so unfortunate for us to lose you. All right, I'm back in. Dude, this doesn't <laughs> seem like she's going out to help you. No, it seems like she's actually you're really so nice. You're so great. <laughs> you're so great. Where is his daughter? <laughs> Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. You don't even know she is. <laughs> What do you do with her? That's a great question. She actually is one of our leading employees at our satellite company. How old is she? Four. She's doing great. Four. She's doing numbers. She's doing well. She's doing really great. Okay. She can do. She knows numbers. Oh yeah. Oh, she's she's always crunching them. With those. Yeah. She loves numbers. Um. She can only use blocks in our meetings. Um. Uh, mm, she's four. But she's selling knives. Mm -hmm. Knives. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She doesn't do the demos. Okay. What do you do with lightning rods then? Well, that's kind of like my side hustle. You know, like I have my, you know, corporate job, but I always try to have a little side hustle, <laughs> you know, something for a little heart. Do you make like TikToks with, about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to try and sell us your course on your side um, hustle? You know, actually, I was waiting for someone to ask me about oh, that. Okay. Um, I'm kind of doing like a, a little girl boss TikTok package. Um, I just went on Wix.com and I made my own website. So. You're kidding sure me. Check it out. It it's on right the now. side of the lightning rod. You don't even. Yeah. Oh, I got to say, this looks really impressive. Thank you. I was Thank wondering you. if I could maybe sell knives for you. <laughs> Dude, don't sell knives for them. I'd like to make some money. That's great. I can get you into it. There's something. <laughs> he no, just I'll explained no. how his kid got kidnapped. I'll get you into it. I am I a kid. I don't have any kids. Do you have any like Good contacts day. that we could reach out to? Yeah. I mean, I have phone contacts. I have my family and friends and acquaintances that I don't remember. I'm all of them. Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Cool. Yo, well, I'm your big brother. What the frick's going on out there? Yeah, it's all. Big brother. Yo. Big bro it's my big brother. Yo, get inside before you get a noogie on the face. Uh, oh, no, he's an 80s uh, bully, big brother. <laughs> oh, my big brother's an <laughs> 80s bully. Oh, oh shit. By he's the probably going to give a wet willy. Did you guys hear Halloween's being celebrated a week, week early? Um, I, I, I was I Are you serious? I don't know the costume yet. <laughs> big brother. Big, big brother, I can tell it was you just by the way you spoke when you when you came out here. You didn't even have to say that you're my yeah, big John brother. Yeah, I'm John, John Nightshade. John Nightshade. <laughs> yeah, that's. That's oh, as opposed to Jim Nightshade. So where's that storm you were talking I about? I killed it. Did we get any? He said there was some storm <laughs> We coming? both got struck by lightning. <laughs> okay, it didn't really you rain. You were struck by lightning. You got, no, he got struck by lightning, too. Oh, right. We were both struck tell the by truth. lightning. Yeah. I'm going to start selling knives, man, because you can freaking sit on your ass waiting for lightning to strike. Hey, that's a sensitive comment, buddy. Sit on oh, my ass. Oh, my <laughs> God. What are you talking about? <laughs> and, <he's> like, <laughs> and then what happens next? The carnival rolls into town. And the train comes in and they can hear the spooky music playing as it comes down the train tracks. And the boys like hear the music. So they go to the window and they see the carnival coming. And it's like, 
eerie and mysterious and there's shadows and smoke and they run into town to see the carnival coming in and they see a poster advertising the illustrated man and the dust witch. So the next morning they immediately go to the carnival. They go to the mirror maze where they run into their seventh grade teacher, Miss Foley. Miss Foley mentions that her nephew is visiting. And then Will gets this like bad gut feeling. He's like, Miss Foley, don't go in the mirror maze. Like, just don't go in. And she's like, it's fine, it's fine. And then she goes in and they hear her screaming for help. And so they go in to save her. And she's like, there's the woman in here. You have to save her. You have to save her. And so then we find everyone at the mirror maze. <laughs> Miss Foley, we're going to save you. Oh, shit. I look really good. Help oh, my God. me. Yeah, well, you always look five times better in the mirror. Help than me, you know, please. I there's a woman. There's a oh, woman. Aunt, Aunt please Miss. save the Aunt woman. Miss. What was that? Aunt Miss. She's my aunt. Oh, I'm the nephew. Wait, your aunt is the one that's dying yeah. in the freaking mirror maze? She's my aunt Miss. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I think a strategy would be to split up in this scary little maze and find her because then we have three guys, people going separate. Guys, I don't want to be by myself. I'm a freaking little bit. Nephew? I'm a, nephew? Nephew? Nephew, where are you? I'm right here. I, I don't and think that helps, students. but I am right here. Foley, I'm going to save you. Naturally. But, uh, when you gave me that D on that oh, paper on Jesus Catcher on the Rye in seventh grade, I didn't forget. You told me I used too much too much passive voice. You hmm? did. Honestly, it wasn't your best work, and I knew you could do better. Passive voice is a valid form of writing, okay? Passive voice. Passive right. Voice. Yeah, but it's not the ideal. You live a passive life. That's what I think. You're dying in a mirror maze. You're hoping four kids save you. What is that? Okay. What have um, you been up to? You're in a mirror maze with your freaking nephew. Well, you know, this is the weekend, but. She keeps bringing in new uncles, but I don't like them. I you, don't like them. Uh, what's the, are you what's being raised by them? What's the relationship? He's just new visiting. Uncles. He's just visiting, but there have been. You have parents? Many, many uncles. <laughs> Sure, yeah, he yeah. knows. He knows. It's not funny, Miss Foley. That's it's not. There's nothing she, to laugh she about. She gave out a lot of D's, and she takes a lot of. Could you that stop? That is the truth. That's could you? Up high. Stop you right here, man. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, man. I'm with you on that. She's uh, the only <laughs> living family member I have. Oh, crap. yeah, it's oh. pretty unfortunate. Oh, but so you know, few? is this so funny? Did they also die in a mirror maze? Yeah, I mean, you're about to have none. Yeah, no, they died in a corn maze. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so similar. What did you say? I said if she dies, I don't know. Maybe you can stay with me. It seems like we're chilling. Well, that would be nice. Well, you guys could you be have buddies. A place of your own? No, with my parents, but we have like an underground, um, like apocalypse bunker. I could stay in your underground apocalypse, apocalypse bunker? bunker. Yeah. Right. I don't think I want that. Yeah, you okay, you have fun on the streets. I you mean, it would be weird. cool if somebody could save me because I, I really don't, I don't feel. Too what are you? Safe. What are you dying from? What's happening? You're just, you're just I looking at yourself. You're dying of. You know, some you vanity. Know. Yeah. Is there like Dying something in vanity? there? That says a lot about society, but I honestly think yeah, there might does. be a, a strange demonic energy. Hey, ah. Guys, have you, that's vague. How are we going to save you from that? Hey, guys, my name is Jared. I'm just like a 45 year old guy. I can't Fuck. figure out how to get out of this. Jared. Place. Whoa, whose voice is that? <sighs> that Miss yeah. Foley's voice? Oh! Her it's nephew. her nephew. Yeah. You remember yeah. me, bro? Freaking oh, razzing you all the time. We watched football. Oh. Smack your ass. Oh. One of the uncles. Oh. 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 Uncle, Greg. Guy, he loves Uncle Greg. Freaking Uncle Greg. Okay. It's been a while, Jared. It's been a while. Um, Yo, okay. Miss Foley, where you at? She calls you Jared as a nickname. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Uncle, I don't know why, but I like it. Uncle Greg, could you go? Could, could you help me save her? I don't know where she is. Please, please don't let him save me. I really, I can't tonight. Well, I actually put a tracking device in her. She doesn't know that, so I can find you her. You put a tracking seconds. device in me? Can you make her beep? Yeah. Beep. I guess. Uh, <laughs> that didn't. I just, hey, right. guys, my name's I'm uh, so Jerry. I'm a 50-year-old guy. Oh, is that Miss Foley? Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh is, that, is that her nephew? Oh, what's up, bro? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, I don't think any of the uncles have How's ever met going? each other before. <laughs> oh, it's still. <laughs> Looks like a freaking piece of macaroni cheese. <laughs> Boys, please. <laughs> Please don't fight. He's always really creative when he razzed me. There's enough for me to go around. So. Freaking enchilada on it. He just got like a visual mind. <laughs> this this freaking random. Yeah, I do. I, I make like the funny section in cartoons. I'll put like a laptop with string cheese on it. And make a million. <laughs> Are you putting these in like a random insult generator? What's going on? You called me a doorknob and an enchilada? Yeah, you look like a freaking eyebrow with a freaking motion picture. Whatever graphics. happened to jackass and dickhead? And Uncle Jerry was always kind of the straight <laughs> man. Face. He was kind of the one who showed you the, ludic the yeah. ludicrousness. You know, of, he, the, he, yeah. he held me down. Yeah. He held me down. Um, but yeah, and we had right. fun. I, would, I took you Stop. to like, Mexico. We Stop. did have fun. Dude, remember yeah. when I took, I took you camping? Right. Yeah. And yeah. I got drunk. And I vomited, and I woke up in a different tent with a different family. 
<laughs> well, I had to, but we man, found you. We did we find you. you. And you honestly, found me. that family, they liked you a lot. They said they you were the nicest you. kid. They said you had such good manners. Yeah, well, I when you asked with... to escape from those uh, coyotes. That, yeah. yeah, I woke up. But with you lice. got fast. You, you got up. really fast. You did get fast. Yeah, you got <laughs> one night. You got really honestly, fast. Honestly, you could have gone pro. I'm Marshall. I. So I used to date Miss Foley when we were eight years old. Oh, <laughs> Marshall. Wait, Marshall. How old are you now? Though? I am nine years old. <laughs> oh no! I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna say. I, okay. I thought you were gonna say older than no, that. No, now I am seventy-four years old. <laughs> Miss Foley's pretty old. <laughs> I'm actually pretty young, boys. Marshall, um, Marshall was. Um, he was older. He was wiser. We learned a lot from each we other. We used to sit and listen to the fireside chats by and we, we, we would watch <laughs> we would watch the occasional moving <laughs> picture. And um Uncle Marshall was the first person to let me sit passenger on my car. Well, on the, the horse and buggy. Well, yeah. Right. Uncle Marshall was the first person <laughs> to own a car. Wait, that means he's old. They always had well. his left hand on the wheel and his right hand would be kind of like traveling around. <laughs> uh, yeah. And and he's, he's putting two and two together. Yeah, as look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> he's realizing oh, no. I got all my uncles here. I got all my uncles from past and present, and I need help getting my aunt out. What do you say? Yeah. Can you go into the the maze and help get my aunt out? Come and yes. get me, boys. Aaron, you look tired. Yeah. Oh my gosh, are those bags? That's that's all real. That's all natural. Baby. Speaking of being tired, let's talk about Ghost Bed. Ghost Bed is a family-owned business that's been perfecting the bed in the box for twenty years. For 20 years, they've been working on this. Finally, a bed that won't break the bank. If you have a bank in your town and you are worried about it, don't worry. It will not break it. This Halloween, GhostBed is offering their best prices of the year. It's the perfect opportunity to refresh your setup with premium comfort without scaring you or your wallet. For years, I woke up with a sore back. And I took it out on just about everybody. <laughs> my partner. My mom. My dog. Pretty much every dog I saw. <laughs> don't let a bad night's sleep ruin the way you interact with dogs get a good bed a ghost bed plus as a we didn't read it listener you can get 50 percent off your order just visit ghostbed.com slash read it and you'll enjoy 50 percent off with code read it you'll also enjoy fast and free shipping so you can be sleeping better in just a few days and a few days can make all the difference with industry-leading warranties and a 101-night sleep guarantee, GhostBed makes it easy to invest in your sleep with confidence. Don't miss out on these awesome deals. Go to ghostbed.com slash read it and use code read it for 50% off your order today. That's code read it at ghostbed.com slash read it where you can get 50% off. The boys don't tell anyone about the mirror maze, like how, you know, that she went missing in it, that it was like mysterious. So Jim is determined to go back. He's like, we got to go back to the carnival tonight, man. And I was like, do we really have to? And Jim's like, yeah. So they go back and they see that there's an out of order sign on the merry-go-round. But Jim is like, that doesn't apply to me. So they go on the merry-go-round. And then all of a sudden, like two giant hands, like grab them off the merry-go-round. And turns out it's Mr. Kruger, who's this like giant redheaded man who like grabs them and takes them off and brings them to Mr. Dark, who is the illustrated man. And he has like, snake tattoos and other like mysterious tattoos all up his arms and he tries to get their names and the boys refuse to give him their names and when they see Mr. Cougar go back on the merry-go-round and all of a sudden the merry-go-round starts going backwards and as it does backwards loops they see Mr. Cougar get younger and younger and younger as it goes backwards around the merry-go-round. Hey I'm Mr. Dark these uh tattoos I lived in Bushwick for a while you know. What? <laughs> What? Yeah, a little era, <laughs> a little Brooklyn era. Yeah, and I actually wanted to get your names because I wanted to see if you wanted to sign up for the Communist Party meetings that we have in Bushwick every day, uh, single day. We, every, every single day? Yeah. You have communist meetings in Bushwick? Yeah, and then we have like stick and poke. I don't think I can make it you to Bushwick. I'm all the poke? way. <laughs> That's where all every these scary tattoos are from because I mess them up all the time. If, I, if we sign our names, would you just go away? Well, I'll email you about three times a day. Oh, my God. Hey, it's me, Mr. Cougar. I'm just going to quickly pop out and go on the merry-go-round. You guys don't mind, right? Cool. I mean, we're kind of on an urgent mission to save our former English teacher. Yeah, Miss um, Foley. Well, if but I could just get your names. John. Okay, thanks. That's your real, that's your real name. What are you I'm doing? I'm Jim. Oh. John's my brother. Well, Jim is a former John. And I'd love an email to attach to that, John. Give him a fake email. Um, Freaking John. John at gmail.com. That's your real email, dude. 
That's your work email. It'd be fantastic <laughs> to get a phone number for that too. Dude, you're gonna be getting emails from them for like I should years. really go. I should really I'm go. Just Mr. Need Google, which is I just I really need them to compliment Freaking me on my new look. I just saw Dr. Miami. Just so. a P.O. box would be great. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> Thank you. Those crow's feet you had are yeah. gone. The smile lines this are gone. Mm -hmm. Listen, this merry-go-round looks kind of freaking insane right now. And I, you guys can't get on. Mind if I just get it started out with Botox and a little bit of collagen and a little bit of filler. And I think mm -hmm. that I'm like starting to get to like my goal face. Your goal yeah. face. Mm -hmm. What do you want your face to look like? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. kind of like Mrs. Potato Head. Oh. Mrs. Potato okay. Head. I think just like really defined features. Like yes. a... Potato, like really hot, with but like a with hot a toy, plastic. a hot potato. A hot so potato. like a boiled potato. That no, you mean. Oh. like a mouth that doesn't open. Mrs. Potato Head was a very complex woman, and she had a lot going for her. Complex carbohydrates. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's what oh, wow. This guy. The Bushwick guy is trying to The Bushwick big. guy is trying to rip. type five, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bushwick that was guy a good has got one. an audition down at the comedy <laughs> cellar. He's trying to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to come to your bringer show, man. <laughs> it really is a tough commute for us, buddy. I'm sorry we can't make it to the meeting. Listen, our um, high school teacher could be dead in the mirror maze. <laughs> Which is what we came here OMG. to do. <laughs> yes. To yeah. help save her. Yeah. Mm. Um, What's her name? Miss Foley. Yeah. Oh my I God, Miss Foley. <laughs> She's I got, a communist. I got her on my list. She's a communist. Yeah. Oh, she, dude, she's she's giving it out to everybody. She did help us. She did have us read Grapes of Wrath. So I understand. And she encouraged us to share our like toys and our right. snacks and stuff. I thought that was going to be weird too. She's really big on sharing. And she dreams. And I earned those toys and snacks. So I thought it was kind of, I shouldn't have to give up my snacks to the people mm. that didn't even work hard for them. You well, think? you know, it's, you know, to eat according to your need or whatever the communist need. slogan is. Anyway, do y'all think if we put Benjamin Button onto the Ferris wheel, would that break the whole universe? Oh, yeah. It's kind of like. Uh, think about that. How is That's this helping us find Miss Foley? That's right just now. something I was thinking about. Miss Foley's Martin. probably dead. You guys took a really <laughs> a long time to get back to uh, her. What if Miss Foley is dead and we put her on the Ferris wheel? Would that make her alive again? I don't know, maybe. But there's also a lot of men what? who she's wronged. What? Honestly, maybe you should just let her go. What kind of advice is that? Sorry, they gave me a lot of drugs before my surgeries. Guys, if you want to get on the on the um, uh, oh my merry go God. round, it's closing. I'm the guy that runs it. It's closing in five minutes. <laughs> Don't let them on the merry go round. We need Literally. to find Miss Foley and get her on the merry go round. It's closing if so. she's dead. Okay, well let's go find her. Oh my God, you look great. Oh, thank you. In the mirror. Yes, thank you. Boys. <laughs> Did okay. you come back to save me from the mirror maze? Yeah, but yeah, some guy tried to get us sign it. up to, for Are you actually going to do it this time? We're going to try. Am I going to live Never. this time? But then Mr. Dark comes and tries to chase the boys off. I'm getting that P.O. box number. <laughs> oh, no. Run, 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 yeah, run. run, run, run. Mr. Dark is going all over town looking for the two boys, but he doesn't know their names because you didn't give him his real, your real names. So he like can't really ask. But now he has new tattoos on his hands and they're, each of his hands has a tattoo of each of the boys of Will. And Jim, which, you know, seems a little weird, but got a tattoo of each of them. So they are going to go to Will's dad for help. Will's dad is Charles Holloway. He is the janitor at the library. And he is very quiet and normally just kind of sad. But then he gets really invigorated by helping the boys run hide from Mr. Dark. And he's going to help them research the carnival. So at the library, they find out that the carnival has been coming every generation for like hundreds of years. And when they, like, get the sense that people in the town are feeling, like, unhappy, they show back up. And they've been coming for decades and decades and decades and stealing the souls of the town's people. And so while they're at the library doing this research, the dust witch shows up to find the boys. Pretty weird tattoo that you're making me do for you, dude. Are these like your your nephews or your sons? I don't have to answer that. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm paying you to do a service. <laughs> I, I I guess I'm done. Do you want more shading on the no, the these, note? These boys are really good. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll, pay I'll, you I'll let Maybe you go. I'll let yeah, you go. I don't have any money? So. Oh well, actually, it is going to be 
about 250 each out of the freaking oh, store looking for Jesus. Wee-woo, wee-woo. Woo! woo. Ah, I'm looking for a uh, crook. I ah, was on the run. It's that guy. Yeah, can we get a description? He ran out of my... Uh, yeah, he get ran a description out of, my of the perp. Two tattoo on each hand. One's got a little boy on it, and the other one, guess what? It has another little boy on it. Thank you. That's very good. Very Not descriptive. Not a good sign. And those little boy tattoos have been stolen. The little boys themselves are in the process of being... Stole. He's trying to steal the boys. I have not seen this guy. Have you seen him? No. <laughs> I don't know where. I he is. feel like we should check out his hands. I don't think we him out. Pull him out. Your name. Pull him out. Hey, what's going on? I extend my hand to shake yours. I'm all pretty much full at this point. Pretty much full at this. Yeah. Full of what? What does it mean? Just all pretty much moving and shaking. Things are going well in my life. I feel like we should take this guy downtown. Hey, would you like to be maybe signed up to be a comedy? <laughs> oh <my laughs> See, because the thing about that is, I'm a police officer. <laughs> Which I don't know, oh, but if you know that. Oh, that's oh my God. my God. That was a little boy. It's the boy. tattoo of the little boy. No, he's a it's little boy. It's the tattoo of the little boy. All right. Yep. You're coming downtown, pal. You're coming downtown. Coming downtown. It's a shame. Meanwhile, in the library. <laughs> all right, we're doing a. Uh, we're doing a. We're doing, we're doing like a movie montage style yeah. where the, bo- the books keep getting higher <laughs> and music's playing. I'm mopping and I'm sad and I'm the dad. 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 Oh, good to see you guys. There's a communist predator looking for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But I'm so invigorated to have a cause. What must we do, boys? We must run. <laughs> we got to research. <laughs> well, this, yeah, that would be we, we got to research. We got to research the carnival. Apparently, uh, it's been coming uh, here for generations. But we don't know anything about it for some went, reason. I just clean here. We should probably find a, a nice librarian. We saw him get younger. Wait, was that the same guy? No. No, oh, that no. Me. Okay, yeah. This <laughs> Wait, why are you in the library? I thought you were in the <laughs> jail. <laughs> Is this the guy that's been trying to steal you? Yep. And now he's got his thighs out. Hey, why are you here? Good thing he still has the also, handcuffs on. Well, I saw you guys walk in here. Right? Also, that picture, those pictures of us are like from our bedrooms. How did you get that? They're re- these are the best ones I had here. Honestly, <laughs> it's a pretty nice tattoo. Like, yeah. could you recommend the shop or? No, he was kind of a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Questioning, what's going on? Was that because you didn't pay? All right, I left. I'm, bo- I'm the communist guy. I got freaking bored. Okay, so we let the guy go. I guess mission? we should probably, like, I don't know, read some <laughs> books <laughs> <laughs> about the lazy communist predator <laughs> <laughs> who so abandons what? ship when things get hard. I'm the dust witch. Oh, oh, right. Holy right. crap. Oh, let's the see plot thickens. Let's see if we can read, can read anything about the Dust Witch. Oh, yeah. Probably right. only good things you'll find about Th- me. This book says the Dust Witch pretty much cleans up after the communist predator. No. Uh, <laughs> this book says the... Cu- the all right. Mm. This book says the Duck... Oh, fuck. The Duck Ooh. Witch? The duck <laughs> That's witch. a whole different thing. We don't, want, we don't want the Duck Witch <laughs> This book says the Dust Witch must be defeated in order for the magic from the evil carnival to subside. Look, we got to get rid of We got to figure out this carnival. It keeps coming and it, it comes when we're unhappy. It comes know. at night. It comes on a train also. It, the whole thing comes on a train. <laughs> I saw that movie. We need to defeat the Dust Witch. <laughs> And the only way to do Murder it, on the Orient I think Express. we need to go to one of these communist meetings to find out what our <laughs> ultimate fear. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to find our ultimate, ultimate fear. fear. Hey guys, you made it to Bushwick. Yeah, yeah. it cost us like two thousand oh dollars. I can't get believe it. you showed. <laughs> yeah, we need to figure out how to defeat the dust witch. Well, yeah, we'll get to that. But we have graham crackers, animal Jeez, crackers, man. saltine <sighs> crackers, club crackers. Why do you have all these crackers? Why are full of crackers? The meetings are eight hours long. <laughs> what? I told you guys we shouldn't have come. Yeah, we read the Communist Manifesto front to back, back to front, front to back, front to back, front to back, back to front. <laughs> okay. Okay. We need to yeah. figure out what the dust witch They took my father's soul. See how he's weird now? Oh, yeah, your father's mad. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. All right, here's how you defeat the dust witch. Okay? You take all the freaking means of production. <laughs> okay. And you freaking put them in the worker's hands, baby. How do you do that? Just a question. If we were trying to defeat, like... The super goblin. How would we do that? Oh, that's easy. You just stab him with a pitchfork in the nuts. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So maybe something, <laughs> something similar to that we could do. Yeah. <laughs> something <laughs> more practical. That's the dust witch. But she doesn't have nuts, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Stab her in the head, maybe? 
we, yeah. yeah. Can we use that? Yeah, we have pitchforks. Well, we have, have metal pitchforks. Pitch we have wood pitchforks. We have brass pitchforks. Mm. We have um, plastic nice, pitchforks. Nice mm. selection. Let's yeah. try the ones that aren't plastic. Let's do brass. Brass? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's get some let's crackers. Just take a, let's just take a couple. Definitely take some take snacks some for the road. Definitely. <laughs> it's going to be a really long journey back home. And then let's. Oh, my God. Do you feel that cool wind? I feel like she's here. The oh, dust witch. Oh, shit. I feel like she's here. And then she starts tickling the air to try to stop Charles Holloway's heart. <laughs> she's tickling me. And my heart. And she's very afraid of his laughter. <laughs> ah! I don't know what to. <laughs> What's she laughing at? Like Keep, Keep, Keep laughing. Keep laughing. Keep laughing. Everything. Uh, uh, what's the next door material? Uh, what, what's the next material? Uh, what's a uh, uh, what's a ghost's favorite fruit? A booberry. <laughs> uh, 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 this is not how communist uh, parties uh, usually uh, led, guys. But uh, I'm a feminist. <laughs> I'm actually half woman on my mother's side. Ah! That was the fakest one yet. Fuck. Fuck. She's not really finding it that funny. <laughs> now <laughs> I'm not afraid. You guys should have no. gone to an open mic before this. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to steal his freaking soul no, hard no, again. No, 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 or whatever. But remember when they not that joke. Stop. Freaking joke. I got like nine hearts in my freaking head. Juggling. Uh, Dad, uh, so those, uh, you have, seen the, have you seen the news? Yes. Yeah, there's pretty crazy things on the news. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? You're doing a two minute bit. We need to laugh now. Relations. The news is. What? He doesn't have any good one liners. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Knock, knock. Do this shit again. Orange. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. If you do this shit again, I'm I'm gonna beg to die. You gotta say orange who? <laughs> orange who? Orange glad I didn't say banana. That's no! <laughs> <good. laughs> I stabbed her in the head. Oh my god, my my dad's soul's returning to his body. Oh I uh I'm feeling pretty groovy. They go back to the carnival, and um, after scaring the witch off with their laughter, they kill her with a bullet with a smile on it. And uh, and by not being afraid and and having joy in their hearts, they defeat the carnival, and it goes away. That is something wicked this way comes. Wow. Yeah. Something wicked this way comes. That was it, and now we're done. Thank you so much. Everybody follow American High Shorts, College Life, Barely Adult. That's pretty much it. American High Cortos. Oh, yeah, we American just I dropped Cortos? American High Cortos Stay recently. It. Also, what? College Life has their own YouTube channel. Check it out. All the College Life sketches will be going on to that YouTube channel. So go subscribe to that. Freaking flock to Woo! that right it's now. Linked like in our bio somewhere. Have fun. Here's Happy Halloween. Seven. Get scary. Woo! Woo!